Jump into the ocean Ain't nobody's business If I do If I should get the feeling To dance upon the ceiling Ain't nobody Glory! Coming! Well, very nice. <laughs> it's nothing. Oh, when you get up on Saturday morning to fix my breakfast, it's definitely something. <laughs> and I appreciate it. <laughs> but, um, tell me, what do you want? Can't I do something sweet and nice and thoughtful without you suspecting my motives, hmm? Speaking strictly from precedent? Uh-uh. Sit down. Not bad. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I just want to make sure that everything was okay. I just said so. It's good. It's really good. You reading that again? I just keep thinking of how much better it could have been if I had just a few more days to do a little more polishing. Well, you didn't, so please forget it until Monday. It would make Daddy so happy if I made it. Hey, who did you go out for law review for? Yourself or for your old man? For both of us, you know that. He didn't have time I for know. it when he was there. He was, he was too, too busy, busy working, working his way through. <laughs> Well, he did all right for himself in the end, so he'll get no sympathy from me. Now, finish your breakfast, young lady. Okay. What in the... For me? No, the paper boy. I just wanted to see if it would fit a small wrist. Oh, David, it's beautiful. <laughs> but what's it for? My birthday's not for a couple of months. See, there you go being suspicious again. Now, why does it have to be for anything, hmm? Can I just give you something because I'm very fond of you? You know, dear, we really should have called first, like she's asked us to several times. Will you stop? Lori's my child. I'm paying for this apartment, for Christ's sakes. You may be paying the bills, Arthur, but Lori isn't a child anymore. She may have company. This early in the morning? No, Lori wouldn't do that. She's not like her sister. Oh my God, it's my parents! Oh no. And just where would you have me go? Besides, I live here. You know, he keeps doing this. He must suspect something. Look, maybe I should open the door. I mean, we got to tell him sometime, and a picture's worth a thousand words. No, are you crazy? No, just tired of having to run out of my apartment every time your parents come by. It's demeaning, Lori. Please, David, we agreed we wouldn't tell him until after you made partner. Now, come on. Look, you just wait a second. David, please, at least just go up to the bedroom. I'll get rid of them as soon as I can. Who is it? Daddy, honey, open the door. Coming! David, please go upstairs. I'll, I'll, we'll talk as soon as the...
they're gone. Oh, we'll do more than talk. Lori, open this door. Lori, your father's carrying something terribly heavy. Okay, anything you say. Coming! Now please go. But I'm telling you right now, this is the last time. I know we woke you. I tried to tell That's your all father. Right. I was up. Well, it took you long enough. Well, I can't give your dad a kiss. <laughs> Good morning, Teddy Bear. <laughs> now I told you it's disrespectful to address your father like that. Oh. Good morning, Mr. Teddy Bear. <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, we interrupted her studying. Uh, that's okay, you're a nice break. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> what is it? What's going on? You two are driving me crazy, what is it? Does it have something to do with this box? What's in it? A typewriter. I already have a typewriter, you know that. But not like that. This is the latest IBM Correcting Selectric. Correcting Selectric? Those are fantastic. But well, you're I... going to need a good typewriter like that for those scholarly articles and notes you're going to be doing on the law review. You're counting my chickens, Daddy. They won't announce the new members until Monday. That's the public announcement. But you remember, the dean and I were classmates. I can't believe it! I'm proud of you! <laughs> well, you believe it. The first generation American fine on the UCLA Law Review. The beginning of the distinguished American fine line. Oh, Arthur, you're an American. Yes, but I wasn't born here. Oh, Mother, they made the Law Review. Can you believe it? I believe it, honey, I believe it. Now calm yourself, because you make yourself sick. <laughs> Daddy, what are you looking for? Nothing. Nothing. I uh, just forgot where it led to. Go ahead, open your present. Oh, you know, we have a senior member of the firm, David Fox. Has a picture on his wall, looks almost exactly like this one. You remember David Fox, don't you? I introduced you at the Christmas party. David Fox? Yes, the black lawyer. You must remember him. You two seem to hit it off right away. In fact, I believe you talked to each other until we left. Oh, yeah, I remember. Nice guy. Rather good looking. Well, I don't know about that. But what I do know is he's as smart as a whip. And we just may have our first black partner this year. This year? I, I thought he wasn't eligible until next year. I mean, at the Christmas party, he told me he wouldn't be eligible until next year. Well, that's true. But his work has been so outstanding, I think I'm going to move his nomination up one year. Oh. Excuse me. Hello? 252-7227. Yes? It seems to be working fine now, operator. Thank you. Hello? Hello. This is that nice, rather good-looking guy in the bedroom. David. Uh, Daniel. David Daniel. Hello. DD to my friends. Uh, look. Daddy. What's wrong? Where are you going? Just up the stairs. There's nothing up there but my bedroom, and it's a mess. Yes, Arthur. Come away from there. Why don't you come finish opening this box for Lori? Hello. Oh. Hello, David. I'm sorry. Everything okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, as I was saying, pretend I'm a friend you had a date with to study with this morning and you're late. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's a good idea. Um, 
Well, what time is it now? Oh, I'm sorry. My parents dropped by and, and I forgot all about it. Um, okay. I just need to hop in the shower. See you in about a half hour? Looking forward to it. Okay, bye. That was my friend David. Daniel. We heard. How good a friend? Oh, nothing special. We're in the same study group. And she's late. Come on, dear, let's go. But she hasn't even opened a present yet. I'll open it when I get home. Thanks. I'll give you a call, okay? Okay. That's a good boy. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. See you soon. Uh oh, Laurie, honey. Why don't you have lunch with me on Monday? Meet me at the office. Give me a chance to show you off. I think I can do that. Um, 12.30, okay? 12.30 it is. Bye. Congratulations. Come on, let's go get dressed so we can celebrate. Right after our talk. But didn't you hear what Daddy just said? Mm-hmm. Which means my stock is pretty high with the old man. With you making a law review, yours is too. Which means this is the perfect time to tell him. David, can't we just enjoy this? No time is the perfect time for telling my father. He'll freak out just like he did when he found out Pat was pregnant. All right, maybe he will get upset at first. But if we are serious about getting married, it's only fair that we give him time to adjust. But I thought you wanted to keep us a secret, too. All right, you're right. I did in the beginning. But now I think it's time we both take responsibility for our actions. Daddy and I are so close. I just don't want to risk losing him like Pat did. But you don't mind losing me. You know that's not what I meant. But that's what it sounds like. If that's the case, maybe I better move out. sometime, right? And you're going to have to tell Daddy sometime, right? It's not going to get any easier later. And in the meantime, you have to sneak around your own apartment. I know I wouldn't do that. I'm not spending my hard-earned money on junk food. I have an idea. You fix dinner. Okay. You invite the folks over, kind of celebration. You get Dad drunk, and then you tell him. That's a good idea. And the home. Would you come? Sort of as my moral support. As your what support? <laughs> I can't, Lori. I it's the way that Dad feels about me, I just it just make matters worse. It would. Things couldn't get any worse. True. And it'd really make me feel better if you came. I would be distracting, wouldn't I? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what should I cook? The only thing that you can cook, Lori. Cook of that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
I hope she didn't fix that Coco Van crap again. It gives me gas. Oh, hello, Daddy. Mother. Hi, honey. Hello, Arthur. David. Well, you are a sly one, David. All this time. How long did you say you've been seeing my daughter? About six months, Daddy. Oh, that's right. It all started at the firm Christmas party. Hors d'oeuvres, anyone? Um, David, why don't you fix Daddy a drink? Uh, good idea. Um, Jack Daniels, isn't that Arthur? How'd you know? Oh, fine. Hi, Mom. Oh, Cat, what a nice surprise. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody thinks so. It's a surprise, all right. Here you go. Oh, thanks, Sad. Um, Mrs. Fine, can I get you anything? Uh, a little Jack Daniels over the rocks, please. Thank you. Nancy, I've never seen you drink whiskey. I know, dear. Cat, how are the girls? Oh, they're great. They send their love. Uh, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, uh, Lori, a little white wine? Hmm? And what can I get you? Oh, I think I'll just get high on love. On second thought, I think I'll get myself a beer. Well, Lori? Was it really necessary to keep all this such a deep, dark secret? Uh, uh, Arthur, keeping things a secret was partially my idea. I didn't want you and the others at the firm to think that I was dating Lori just to get ahead through you. I assure you that was the least of my concerns. Sir? Uh, David, would you mind getting me another drink? Nancy! Mother! Nancy, remember yourself. You're not used to whiskey, and you're drinking on an empty stomach. So, I miss anything? Where was I? Oh, yes. What I meant was, David, is that my main concern is how comfortable you and Laurie feel in this relationship. So, Daddy, you don't mind David and I seeing each other? David, would you mind getting me another drink? Honey, it's not what I mind or don't mind. You know I would never impose my will on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Beer always does this to me. I think I'll go check on dinner. Thanks, sis. <laughs> As I was saying, I do not want to impose my will on you. My paramount concern is that you be happy. Well, what is it? What, why are we talking so far ahead of ourselves? I mean, you two are seeing each other casually. <laughs> I don't think the difference between your uh, relations is too problematic. Daddy, I'm afraid you misunderstood. David and I are not just casually dating. We're, um, we're seeing each other exclusively. Well, that's right, Arthur. I'm very much in love with your daughter and she with me. And we plan to be married next year. You plan a what? Arthur. Dinner is served. Let's go in to dinner, dear. Don't worry, Daddy. It's an old chair. Let's eat. I made your favorite. Coco Van. Here, Daddy. 
I want you to have plenty of this. I know how much you like it. All right, now, can we pick up where we left off? <clears throat> oh, Arthur, can't we just eat in peace? We can talk later. I doubt if you'll be able to talk later. No, we'll talk now. Lori's future is at stake here. Now, David, you know how highly I think of you. Your work at the firm has been nothing short of brilliant. But Laurie's a child. I'm not a child. Be quiet! Now, one of the things you have obviously overlooked, and there are many, is your children, God forbid. Dad, come on. They'll have beautiful children. They'll have Lori's eyes, and they'll have David's rhythm. <laughs> Patricia, if you do not have anything constructed to say, please keep quiet. Daddy, David and I realize that not everyone will love the idea of our marriage. And maybe everyone won't love our children, but everyone doesn't count. Family counts. You count. I'm for whatever or whoever makes you happy, dear. Don't be ridiculous. It isn't that simple. I think it is. And since we're really into this now, I'm going to tell you the rest. I didn't just invite David over here for dinner tonight. He was already here. David lives here with me. We've been living together for the past three months. You, you son of a bitch! Daddy! Get out! Get out of this apartment this instant! I can't do that, sir. I live here. Lori, get some of your clothes together. You're coming home with us. No, oh, thanks, Daddy. I like my present accommodations just fine. I mean what I say. Ask your sister. I think you better leave now, Daddy. We'll talk later when you're calmer. You mean, when you've come to your senses? Let's go, Nancy. You go on, Arthur. I'm hungry. Nancy, we're leaving. Oh, I heard you, dear. But I'm not ready. And I'm sure that Pat will drive me home a little bit later, won't you, Pat? I can understand your problem. You're drunk. But you... You have no excuse. You okay? Look, maybe I better go talk to you. No. Here. It's all right. Hey. Hey, don't worry about it. He'll be back. He can't stay mad at his baby very long. Well, I guess I'm not his baby anymore. Oh, damn.